So, uh, after playing this for a while, and being absolutely amazed that I could do so without falling asleep, I did some research on this godforsaken thing, and it turns out it was released by TDK. Which shocked me, because I had no idea TDK did anything but cassettes and VHS tapes. But evidently, they also had a short-lived stint as a games publisher, and during that time, they found a way to do the impossible. It made the Muppets boring. I- Turkey Bushkin. How the f*** do you do that?! You see, TDK released this, this Spy Muppets, licensed to Croak, back in 2003. Same year they released Muppets Party Cruise for the Nintendo GameCube. As much as I appreciate a company making Muppets anything, they seem to miss the point of the Muppets entirely. Jim Henson's Muppets are funny and charming and memorable. Spy Muppets is none of those things. It's not funny, it's not charming, and the only thing remotely memorable about the game is that it somehow ruins the Muppets, which is an almost impossible display of pure, unadulterated ineptitude. Waka waka! This game's terrible! Now, Spy Muppets is, at least in theory, an interesting concept. It parodies classic James Bond films, replacing all their characters with Muppets. Now, I am not humble, but I am honest, and that premise is so good, the games almost write themselves, and yes, the games are plural, because there are so freaking many you could do. Uh, an adventure game with lots of funny dialogue and character interaction. There's an idea. How about a character-driven puzzler, something like Professor Layton? Another good idea. I mean, uh, with such strong characters, how could you screw this up? And I'll tell you how, by doing this! <laughs> Spy Muppets is an interactive story, the interactions being very short minigames. The problem with that is, it's the laziest thing ever. There are four missions, and each one starts with the same two minigames. Repair the vehicle, do the chase scene. I mean, that, that is stunningly bad. And sadly, the few other minigames aren't very good either. And not only that, but uh, the story is poorly written, the characters are boring. You know, Pepe the Prawn only says, okay, like once. So, I mean, that's simply inexcusable, as is this game. Even devout Muppets fans can pass on Spy Muppets, licensed to croak. Ow. <laughs>